FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I wanted to comment about the newsletter. If you remember when we sent this out uh, early Sunday morning, we said that the market after, and we were talked about this on the air too, if you remember on Friday, that we were at major, major support. As you can see here in the NASDAQ, which is similar to the S&P, stopped exactly at the 61% retracement. That was down three standard deviations. John Jameson had a nice little uh, dossier on that. Uh, I don't know if the dossier is the right word or not, but uh, it was a spot where it literally had the hole because if it broke down below that, three standard deviations is where problems arise. Now you've seen we've had a very strong rally here. Now we're up about 400 points in the NASDAQ. Uh, well, 350 points from the low. Dow Jones is up about 600, and the uh, S&P is up about 75 handles. Now, speaking of the S&P, let's just get over here and take a quick look at this on a little short-term basis here. And we'll see where we are. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, hold on one second here. Let me get this out of the way here. There's where we are. We are almost at the 382 of the whole thing, boys and girls. There's the ABCD to the downside. Look at this. You talk about being perfect. Look at that thing on Friday. It was just absolutely perfect. And as we were coming down, there's where we were. We've had a nice rally. There's your 382 coming in off the whole thing, which would be right about here. You'll take a quick look at that. That comes in at uh, right at uh, 5,500 or yeah, 5,500 will be the 382 of that move. That'll be our strongest rally since the market top way back here on September the 2nd. So that might be an important spot. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. That I don't know. Okay, that's what we're paying attention to here. The other one that we've been watching that has been treating us very nicely, hold on a second here, get this up here, has been the uh, British pound. And as you can see, it still has made lower lows in this group from here, right here. Remember, we shorted it up there, and now it's had a really big break. We're coming down to some there's your 1.618 expansion number, but it still looks like it has more to go to the downside. So I would say lock in at least $500 profit in that British pound. We're going to take a break. Paula T. Webb Douglas is our guest. 